from jaw-dropping defeats to epic meltdowns nobody saw coming. Not one. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Buckle up as we dive into the most fire poker blow-ups of all time. I'll take your money. Yeah, baby! Come on, Russian, get out! We're turning up the heat here as we showcase the players nobody should dare to mess up with. Last time I want to hear it. Or I need better protection, and I'll, I know we'll talk about it. Brace yourselves as things are about to get wild with moments from the poker table that will leave you saying, No way. One, Phil Helmuth. Ready for some matches? No list of poker blow-ups would be complete without something from our very own poker brat, Phil Helmuth. He may have 17 World Series of poker bracelets, but the guy has an entire history of epic meltdowns on his record as well. In 2021, Helmuth was at yet another WSOP final table, hoping to grab a win in the $10,000 seven card stud championship. After making two pair and never being behind in the hand, Helmuth lost it after Steven Chidwick found three of a kind on the final card. Three-time World Poker Tour champion Anthony Zinno then completed a full house to beat Helmuth's two pair as well. A short time later, Helmuth is once again involved with a hand versus Zinno. His split queens are soon on the short end of a Zinno flush, sending him into orbit. Now, if we say Helmuth loses it after this, it's like putting it way too mildly. The Poker Hall of Famer went nuts and unleashed a volcanic rant that included more than 40F asterisk bombs and numerous other swears. Helmuth soon walked out of the tournament and the diatribe continued. Things got really serious and earned him plenty of criticism when the brat added, I think I'm gonna burn this place down if I don't win this tournament. Burn this place down. Damn mother punishing me, pops me on the turn. How does he get rewarded for that bullshit? Poker blow up might be one for the record books, but wait till you find out what happened at the WSOP main event in 2006. Stay with us. 2. Phil Ivey lashes out on Phil Helmuth. Whether you're a fan of Phil Ivey or Phil Helmuth, you're definitely gonna get a kick out of this. In season one of Poker After Dark, Ivey gets pretty annoyed at Helmuth. We're zooming in on a wild poker showdown where the poker world felt a bit of silent heat. It was just another day at the tables, but things got spicy when the ever controversial Phil Helmuth had a bone to pick with Phil Ivey. Everyone's chillin', playing cards, and bam, Ivy decides it's time to call out Helmuth in front of everybody. I'm nervous for Phil. Which so, Phil? So here's what went down. Helmuth, cool as ever, is throwing some shade about Ivy getting all cranky over a game. He's teasing Ivy about his fancy shirt, trying to lighten the mood, but Ivy ain't having any of it. It's like, chill man, it's just a shirt. Man, he even offers Ivy to touch his shirt as if that's gonna smooth things over. But nope, Ivy is wound up tighter than a $3 watch. Come on, man, stop, please. It's nice material on that shirt. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Helmuth didn't stop annoying the out of Ivy. He just stirred the pot, had a laugh, and poked at Ivy, which got them into quite a bitter clash. You don't have to be cranky of all the chips. It's, it's not work. always you against the world, kid. Oh, thanks for the speech. Ivy is not in the mood for jokes. He's sitting there, all ruffled like he's carrying the weight of the world. The whole table's watching this drama unfold, with Ivy playing it cool and Helmuth about to blow a gasket. It's like watching a poker standoff and Ivy's holding all the right cards. He's got Ivy figured out, calling him out for being cranky and all, and let me tell you, it's just priceless. So next time you're caught up in the euphoria of winning, remember this epic clash where Ivy showed us all how to keep your cool and maybe, just maybe, get under your opponent's skin with a smile. What a legend. I'm sick of letting this guy run over me every hand. I'm getting awfully sick of it. And in case you think this scene was too much of a silent drama for you, stay with us as we get into the details of what Tony G did back in 2008. Three, Tony G cuts loose at the Intercontinental Poker Championships. Antanas Goga, aka Tony G, took anything but the high road in the Intercontinental Poker Championships back in 2008. After making a pre-flop call with an A, two spades, he announced that he wanted to play but had a weak hand. I call. I want to play with him. I got a weak hand though. I'm still calling if you raise, unless you go all in. Perry, holding king clubs and jack spades, considered his options before making a raise as Tony G continued talking. That brought more talking and Tony moved all his chips in. 120 more. How much more has he got? I'm all in. Perry was unable to get away from his hand, perhaps sensing that his opponent's hand might be light. 
he called, which was a bit of a poker playing blow up and got no help on the board, where he was instantly eliminated from the tournament. This brought plenty of ridicule and over the top antagonism from Tony G, a verbal blow up of epic proportions that seemed to go on and on. You're a champion. Send you back to Russia. When the final card was dealt, Tony jumped in celebration and the real show began. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Come on, Russian, get out! Tony went on to urge Perry to feel his power. You feel my power, baby? Perry remained calm and classy throughout, simply telling his opponent... Good hand. He's in shock. Even upon Perry's exit and a smattering of clapping from the audience, Tony G didn't back off, and the entire scene seems to have been a little too much. If you read my poker strategy, I tell everyone, never, never overplay King Jack. Nobody was able to stop Tony, he just carried on his tantrum in the corner. In case that just blew you up, wait till we bring on another helmet moment. Stay tuned. 4. Eric Person turns tables on Helmuth. Safe to say that half of poker history blow-ups go to Phil Helmuth alone. At least this guy managed to make a record somewhere. There was plenty of trash talk between Maverick Gaming CEO Eric Person and Phil Helmuth in Poker Goes $25,000 Heads Up Showdown in 2022. But Helmuth seemed thrown off to the side a bit there, as this time Person brought all the heat to the scene. The casino executive and poker player took off at first with Helmuth saying he would eliminate his opponent in 20 minutes. Helmuth also questioned Person's skills and called him obnoxious. Person continued by offering to bet $100,000 on the match, and that brought to even more trash talk where things seemed to really get personal. Overall, both players seemed to blow up a bit when it came to the verbal back and forth. This matchup featured fireworks throughout. Person showed no fear and gave the poker brat some of his own medicine, leaving Helmuth muttering to himself the whole time. Queen high. <laughs> Can you sense the sarcastic laugh there? Coming from Helmuth, Person took that as a compliment. For some reason, Person kept picking on Helmuth saying he stands to chance to win against him today, and it was we could see Helmuth heating up the entire time. We're gonna fast forward to the end. I'm gonna beat you. He later called the 17-time though you saw champion a bitch and gave him the double bird at the table as he laughed. Commentators felt this move crossed the line and the action heated up even more from there. Such a bitch, Phil. You said bitch. We heard quite a lot of F-bombs the whole time. Anytime you think you're running a great player over. Where's the great player, Phil? Oh, shit. By the time the match ended, it was a bit difficult to determine which player blew up more. Person kept going after Helmuth, and Helmuth kept launching verbal barbs at Person. You think your little 10 20 40 game with the Bellagio means something? I don't play 10 20 40, Phil. Whatever you play, you're so ridiculous. Helmuth also told Person that there was something wrong with him, and he's definitely a narcissist. What's wrong with you? Let's go. You could be a narcissist. I could be. You're acting. Person kept building the frustration for Phil the entire time by telling him he didn't stand a chance in front of him, and Phil, completely frustrated, reached out for headphones to ignore him. As the commentator said Person was in control of the game, but Helmuth was quick to turn and let it all out. A bit shocking to get that from Helmuth, the reversed roles probably bothered Helmuth, and he struggled to get his share of attention. Harrison even bugged Helmuth with some acting along the way to annoy him more, and the sarcastic war continued. By the end of the match, Helmuth became extremely annoyed and even asked staff for some protection from the perceived verbal assault. He claimed Person had been out of line for a straight hour, dropping plenty of F-bombs in the process. I'm asking, for, I'm asking for some protection. I'm starting to get a little out of line. All right. Come over, Paul. I, I'm asking you to come okay. up. Will you please come up? This guy's been completely out of line for like an hour. I'm really getting sick of it. In any other tournament on the planet, I don't have to put up with this bull They just kick the guy out or give him a penalty. He needs to be warned for a penalty because I've had enough of this bull Just, I mean, it's just so obnoxious. I don't even want to be here playing this event with, with a guy like this. It's ridiculous. Bring me a great player or someone like a great businessman who's a nice guy, not this bull He needs to have a warning. Even the commentators mentioned that person was way too out of line. The cursing continued from both players, and Person eventually vanquished his opponent with pocket aces. Helmuth went on a long rant after the match and exited the stage quickly after vowing never to play another event against Person. Now both players have a warning. However, Helmuth later apologized for his own actions. 
as did Person, and the two later met on Poker Go's high stakes duel, this time with Helmuth coming out on top. At a time when some poker fans complain that too many players sit quietly at the table without mixing it up, this match delivered in the verbal bashing department and is worth checking out. But who do you think blew up more in this moment? Let us know in the comments section below. Meanwhile, we're up with yet another blow up that will blow up your mind for sure. Stay tuned. 5. Chip Flip and Tempers Flare Switching gears to when Jamie Gold built a massive chip stack on his way to the biggest WSOP main event win in history back in 2006. He went on to win a massive $12 million, but getting there didn't come so easily. Later in the tournament, Eric Molina got a bit chatty and made an all-in raise over Gold's initial raise. The two got into a bit of a brief war of words, with Molina flipping his all-in chip across the table towards his opponent, landing behind Gold's chip. Gold didn't take this move quite well and returned fire by throwing it at Molina. And it's fired hey, back! Hey, don't be an ass. Excuse me? Asses and glass houses shouldn't throw chips. The back and forth jawing continued, all in front of the cameras. The bad blood continued, but Gold ultimately folded. Molina went on to drop an F-bomb after raking in the pot and earning a 6-minute penalty in the process, much to Gold's delight as the scoreboarding antics continued. Excuse me, penalty. I did not say that. No, thank you. Gold eventually added the 8-figure score. But things didn't turn out too badly for Molina either. He finished 31st for $329,865. While Gold remains synonymous with the record-setting main event win, he was pleased to see the WSOP pass his record and set a new record for entries in 2023. The 2006 tournament drew 8,773 entries, while 2023 saw 10,043 total players with the ultimate winner, Daniel Weinman, taking home $12.1 million. Gold made it a nice return to the main event as well, finishing 1,081st for $17,500. After facing some medical issues over the last few years, the entire scenario made for quite a comeback. We see the comeback gold, we totally do. 6. Cocky American Accuses Italian Pro of Robbery Now let's dive into one of the most intense and heated poker moments ever. The tension started brewing when Jeff Lissandro was accused by Prahlad Friedman of not putting in his ante during the 2006 WSOP main event. Lissandro, holding pocket eights, got called out and things escalated in no time. With the flop showing deuce seven ace, Lissandro was trailing but held his ground as Molina bet big and won the hand. Friedman convinced Lissandro didn't ante, kept pushing, calling him a thief. Did you hear We're what done. he said? He said he'll knock my teeth out. Jeff. Okay, I'm not, being, I'm not being called a thief anymore. Lissandro was furious and defended himself fiercely, saying he was no thief. So if he threw the ante out, he just gets robbed. The back and forth turned ugly with insults flying and tempers flaring. Dude, I saw him throw it in. I'm not. Could you guys please do me a favor and let it go? Uh, I'll let it go. Oh, it's done. The floor staff had to finally step in as Lissandro even threatened to knock out Friedman's teeth if he called him a thief again. John? Is he going to stop? Can I talk to you for one second? Yes. Over here? It has escalated. These things tend to fester like a cold sore. But amidst all this drama, the poker game continued. Lissandro and Friedman ended up facing each other in several hands, with Friedman bluffing and showing off, trying to get under Lissandro's skin. Lissandro, frustrated and boiling with anger, folds the best hand twice, letting Friedman take the pot. This incident shows how even these smallest misunderstandings can explode into full-blown confrontations when the stakes are high and the egos are even higher. This showdown is a classic example of poker's high drama, making it one of the craziest moments in the game's history. 7. Helmuth Goes Crazy at Christian Dragomir Now, zooming in on yet another Phil Helmuth moment from the 2008 WSOP, we're talking about the time Phil was paying premium hands, especially on screen as part of the extensive coverage. Hands down, television was made for moments like Helmuth being looked up by Christian Dragomir, who gets involved with 10-4. As soon as the flop hits that 10, all hell breaks loose. Buddy, you're an idiot. Yeah, but I'm an idiot with a staff. You are an idiot. Helmuth couldn't sit there quietly. Dragomir is obviously a passionate guy too. And for the other players at the table, it must have been like watching your neighbor's bonfire getting out of control and simply enjoying the extra warmth without having to worry about what might be set on fire. Eight, 
Tony G's epic thousand yard stare. Losing a coin flip happens to everyone, thousands of times in their poker career if they're in any way a regular on the scene. For Tony G then, it should have come as no surprise to lose the 50-50 contest on the occasion, but that didn't hold him back from bursting into complaints anyway. I mean, this is just a, <laughs> unbelievable. I haven't won He's one hand. shocks on the river. Just having one hand. I mean, what the f is going on? Tony G moans, storming away from the table as Roland DeWolf sips his water, smiling, content to have paired his ace on the turn. Tony's blowing up. Jesse May revels in the commentary booth. No, I don't care. <laughs> John, black. As Tony G returns completely devastated despite being second in chips at the table, Roland couldn't control his laughter and bursts out the water in his mouth. I mean, with one hand. Not one. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he settled into his seat where he probably had a good long think about all the injustices in the world and how meaningless one poker hand really is when stacked up against humanity's problems. Or maybe he was just stewing about how unlucky of a player he is. He continues to complain till he finally loses. I've been there before. What have you got, 200? Not even. It's like I'm drawing dead every hand you deal. <laughs> and it only got worse from there for Tony G in this Premier League. How am I? So that's not coming to Are you going to lose How two do you do it? Like you you me not on the floor, but you gave me all the time. Every time. time. I haven't won one hand. Yeah. Tony G was literally on fire back there, don't you think? Let us know in the comments section below. 9. The epic helmet rant. They don't even know how to spell poker. Love him or hate him. Nobody in poker puts asses in seats like Phil Helmuth. Even though nobody's a fan of the way Phil acts sometimes, there has been nothing better than his legendary outburst at the 2008 World Series of Poker main event, where Adam Ruthless Levy called with a QT and turned to straight versus Phil set, prompting him to explode and wonder if Adam could even spell poker. There we had it then, a classic Phil Helmuth reaction. He doesn't look like an idiot player, Helmuth just had to cry the whole time and bash his opponent till he finally walked around the set. And in case you thought things went off the charts here, wait till we reveal the biggest meltdown of the century next. 10. Philip Hilm Biggest Meltdown of the Century Lastly, we'll shift the spotlight on our man, Philip Hilm. Leading into the nine-man final table in pole position with 22 million chips, Hilm was considered to be one of the big favorites to take down the title, but it wasn't meant to be that day. The Germans suffered what has been described as the biggest meltdown in main event history, going from hero to bust in just 15 hands. What possesses a player to recklessly throw away such an opportunity? Well, Hilm himself doesn't see it as a bad decision. He had rather decided that he would either win the thing or die trying. The money, he said, wasn't a factor for him. The jumps from half a million to one or two million did not seem to interest him the way it did other more cagey players. In any event, there was one brutal hand that pretty much decided which way the final table would go when Hilm and Jerry Yang locked horns. Yang decided to open for 1 million with the blinds at 120k slash 240k, holding an A diamonds and king spades. Having just lost a big pot to Yang, Hilm looked down at the 8 and 5 diamonds and rather than taking the commentary booth's advice, the uber aggressive German decided to call from the small blind, a highly questionable decision under any circumstances. The flop came jack diamonds, king diamonds and 5 clubs and Yang had paired his king with Hilm sitting on the flush draw with the bottom pair. Hilm checked and Yang quickly bet out 2 million into the 2.5 million pot and a stern faced Hilm chose to call. The turn brought two hearts and Hilm's check once again was met with a big bet, this time 4 million from the only player at the table able to match Hilm's generally aggressive approach to the final table. How deep does Philip Hilm want to get in? Asked the commentator and almost immediately got a reply. I'm all in. All the way! Wow. Well, he is just swashbuckled with his flush draw and a baby pair. And if Yang calls here, Hilm might wash ashore. Just as the commentary booth was discussing Hilm's belief that Yang might not have the guts to call, the Laotian-born Californian stood up and said, Yang makes the call to put Hilm at risk! This seems improbable. Hilm was chip leader like 15 seconds ago. And this would be for most of Jerry's chips also if he gets unlucky here. 
Caleb Hillman had everything going for him. Oh, I forgot we have the uh, bearded lady concession here at the Rio. <laughs> Suddenly, Hillman put his main event life at complete risk. Amid some ridiculous dancing from Hevat Khan, which brought smiles from Hilm, if no one else, the dealer served up the river with the six clubs. And now the river card. It's a six yes! of clubs! Yes! 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 Yang has eliminated yes! Philip Hill! Uh, that is a monster meltdown for Philip Hill from penthouse to outhouse in two hands. Ninth place, $526,000 for Philip Hill. And Lars bonding is crying. Young danced with joy while Hilm had the ultimate meltdown, going from hero to almost zero in the flash of an eye on the poker timescale with one of the most remarkable blowups in poker history and a hand that pretty much finished Hilm's entire poker career. He later went on to invest his winnings in property development and almost completely avoided the green felt for the next eight years. Hilm really took it to heart, don't you think?